Everyone, please welcome Tiffany Geigel to the stage. Make yourself at home. Thank you. I, I love everything about you and the way you live your life. And one of the things that I wanted to ask you is, because I'm sure people do stop you and they say, Tiffany, what about your appearance? What do you say when they ask you about your appearance? For adults, I try not to get into too much medical jargon because it's a lot to you know understand. Um, but I just explain that my spine is shaped like the C, like the letter C. Um, it's curved and never straightened out fully, which leaves me with a short torso. But for children, um, depending on the age range, I will just um, try to say, you know, do you look like your friend sitting next to you? Like, do, they, do you guys look alike? And they'll be like, no. I'm like, well, that's the same thing with me. Like, I don't look like you, and you don't look like me, and that's okay. But I'm still, you know, a, a human, and I have feelings, and, um, you know, I, I'm just smaller than you. And then I tell them, you're going to be taller than me one day. They're like, what? <laughs> Tiffany, other than dancing, what's your proudest achievement? Well, um, in New York City, you know, you don't really need a car, but I bought my first car by myself. Uh, I know, right? And that new little car, yeah, my beautiful red mobile. I love that car. I went through a lot of stress taking uh, mass transportation, the trains and the buses, because that's when I went through a lot of um, arguing with people, um, taking my pictures, videotaping me, following me, laughing in front of my face, making fun of me. But taking the train and the bus was, was rough and I would be stressed out every single day. And, and what's amazing is you're, you're someone who's persevered. I wanna know what your message is to anyone out there watching because you've obviously, you've, you've had to deal with the stares and the questions and you said the mocking. Everybody has a disability one way or another. There's no perfect, mm -hmm. there's no normal, there's no such thing. We don't live in a world like that. Um, but it's just, for me, it's just get out there, go live your life, go do what you have to do. I did a, I got a lot of, I can't, so I would never, or she would never, or she can't. Um, I will, and I do, and I'll show you. And we actually, if you look up there, we have a special, special message for you from someone who thinks you're a hero. Oh. Tiffany, thank you for taking the stand and being that positive role model and advocate for those who have Jarko Levin syndrome. When you share your stories, it's as if you are sharing some of Annalise's, especially because she is nonverbal. Seeing everything that you have accomplished in life helps give me that reassurance and hope that she will be just fine. Thank you for that. May God continue to bless you. Gotta feel pretty good. Yeah, I just wanna be the one to help those parents who have children with JLS and don't know. But she is that girl, I told her mother, put her in gymnastics, put her in something because her mom said she's like always throwing tumbles and flipping over. Um, I said, just raise her as a regular child. Like, just let her be, let her do. And no truer words to be said. Keep it up, Stephanie. Keep doing, keep doing you.